Come on and take me back to the to build a palace. A very, very magnificent palace with walls, concentric circles of walls, and in between would be difficulties like moats and lions and soldiers and mazes. But also as you get closer to the palace, 
would be like incredible pieces of art and the ministers of the king would be putting like silver on the ground and say anybody who wants can take it. <coughs> and everybody's invited to the throne room where the king is there in the middle of this, this whole thing. So this is what the king wanted to make and he did it. And there's different versions of the story. So the one I want to tell you now is that because of the diversions, because of the difficulties, like most people, like, you know, as you get over one wall, like there's only 10, there's only 50% of the people left. And the next wall, there's only 50% of the people left from that one. And it just dwindles down and dwindles down until there's so few people left. And, and, the, and for sure, like the, the money, the silver, the gold, the jewels, you can take whatever you want and go. Like, that's a diversion. The king is saying, do you really want to come to the king? So, and then when you get inside the palace, it's like unbelievable, like this place, again, art and everything, but there's also places where you can sit and learn the most deepest, deepest wisdom. And you can like really get this stuck there. It's even Torah. If you're going to the king and Torah gets in the way, that's also a diversion. So you have no much tear yourself away and say, I want to get to the throne room. So after going through so many things, and you finally get to the throne room, the son of the king, the daughter of the king. That's each one of us. When you bow down to the king, you see the king. Abba, it was so hard to get to you. And Abba motions you and says, come. And Abba is sitting next to him. And they're really so old, awesome, awesome. The king, the ancient of days, called Atik Yami, Atika Kadisha. He's sitting there on his throne and he's leaning forward and saying, why don't you tell me, how, tell me what's going on with you? He says, I had to go through so much to get here. And he's listening with all of his ears, like the option of a Rebbe listens to him. He leans forward, he listens to every ounce of his body. He's listening. And the king is listening to you because he's totally with you. And then he says, you know, come here, my son. Come here, my daughter. And he takes us and he embraces us. And he says, now I want you to turn around. I want you to turn around and look at the palace. And you, and you turn around and you look and there's no palace. And there's only endless gardens and angels. Infinite, infinite. Just, it stretches out for endless. And you look at your, you look at the, the, the king and the queen. So what's going on? And the answer is, I had to make it like that. I had to make it seem that I was with you every second. And now, my, my precious, precious child, I want you to leave here now, and there's gonna be a palace again, and there's gonna be rooms, and especially I want you to stop in the room with the Torah, because now you know why to learn Torah. Because Torah is now gonna be your, what you need to go out into the world, having been here with me, and to Mamash do your mission in the world. Everything as you're going towards the king is a diversion. But then once you've been with the king, you've been in the Holy of Holies. So now everything bespeaks the king's presence to you. You hear that's very important. Again, on the way in, the world prevents you from getting to God. Even the good stuff. But when your mom is going back out into the world, everything is a reminder. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hashem. Thank you so much for being with us. So the Holy of Holies experience, which is what the Mishkan is all about, is so important for us to connect to that because we are, we have that Holy of Holies. There's a, the Gemara says that when you, you know, based on when King Solomon inaugurated the temple, so he says, whenever anybody is outside of Eretz Yisrael, they should face Eretz Yisrael the Daven, right? Whenever you're in Eretz Yisrael, so you face Jerusalem. It's called Jerusalem. Lum. Lum. Jerusalem. And then if you're in Jerusalem, you have to face the, uh, the, mount, the, 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 um, the Temple Mount. And if you're on the Temple Mount, you have to face the Temple. If you're in the Temple, you have to face what? The Holy of Holies, the Kodesh Kodesh. So it says like this, that the word for it is V'yichaven libo k'neged Kodesh Kodesh Kodesh. You have to intend your heart to the Kodesh Kodesh. Ah, especially, that's if you know where you're going. You know, you know, you know where you know where East is. But if you don't know where you are, 
and you're lost. Or in a boat, like the, the, you know, you've lost your direction, your sense of direction, you don't know where to orient. You have to orient yourself towards the orient, right? That's, that's when you know where you're going. You're going towards the orient, east, towards God. But if you don't know, so then it says again, Yechaven libo keneged kodesh kodeshim. You have to intend your heart to the Holy of Holies, which has two meanings, right? Intend in your heart that I'm mamish davening towards the Holy of Holies. I don't know where it is physically, but I'm intending my heart towards the Holy of Holies on the Mount, on the Temple Mount. And the other meaning is, intend that your heart is your Holy of Holies. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's awesome. That's, that's, a, that's the key. Is that each one of us is a little tiny miniature temple, and Hashem gave us the ability to reach Him, reach Him, reach him to connect with Him, where? Not out there, Mamish inside. And so that's where meditation comes in. That's where mom is really getting centered and breathing and feeling the awesome miracle of existence. Thank you so much for giving me existence. It's so hard down here. You can talk to God about it. It's like really hard being human. But thank you so much. Like it has to be a little bit of like a dance between it's so hard, I can't go on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And that is how you diminish the power of Haman and Amalek who want to crush us who want to disconnect us from our connection to the Holy of Holies. What other chance do we have? We're not political leaders. We're not geopolitics. So Haman, that force, Paro, Nebuchadnezzar, they want to convince us, you have no way of stopping me. I am in power. And Hashem says, don't listen to them. You are the most powerful force in the world. They are nothing. So just one more thing, is that Moshe Rabbeinu, he brought us to such a level on Passover night, that on Passover night, Yonatan ben Uziel says on the verse, Avi etchem elai al I brought you to me on the wings of eagle, angels. That Yonatan ben Uziel says, that on Nileo Pesach, I brought you to the Beit HaMikdash. There was no Beit HaMikdash yet. But it says, I brought you to the Beit HaMikdash in Jerusalem and you ate the Korban Pesach there and I returned you back to Ramses, which is Goshen, which is Egypt, and in the morning you left physically. The Torah, on the other hand, says, don't leave your houses all night. <laughs> like, keep your staff in your hand, your shoes on your feet, but don't go anywhere. The Torah says you're not supposed to leave your houses but the Midrash says that you did leave, you left and you went to Jerusalem. Take me back to Jerusalem. Like, what do we believe in? We believe in both. We never left our houses. Egypt disappeared. It dissolved. Paro, the matrix, the illusion disappeared. When you're in that state of Pesach, which is, it can be attained any moment, any time you want it, any time we want it. Once we've had it, once we know that it exists, we can enter into that state then the world dissolves. The palace dissolves, right? We're with the king. We're in the Beit HaMikdash. So, I bless all of us that we connect to that place, which is place beyond place, beyond place. It's beyond place. It's the Holy of Holies. It's where Yaakov had his dream of the ladder. It's where he connected to Shemaim. It's where we connect to the highest levels. Above, above, above. Hashem, you're so awesome, you're so infinite, and we need you right now.